we have to, to dance inside so that the listener will dance inside. The idea of tonight is really, it's not a concert, is it? Well, not only. Not it's, only. it's a concert at one point because people are sitting and listening to, to music and they have the, the addition of the dance show. Later, listeners that are willing to dance, it's possible to start dancing as a milonga. We call milonga the social dance around the town. So this is still possible tonight at, the, at that place, so it's, it's mind-blowing. Het publiek dat aan het dansen is, cellisten die dansen en dansers die dansen op cello muziek. Er wordt volop heerlijk bewogen bij deze biennale en dat heeft alles te maken met het thema van het festival, namelijk The Cello Moves. De cello moves is natuurlijk voor, voor de hand liggend denk je meteen aan, aan uh, iets met dans of beweging. Hè? Maar dus de, je kunt bewegen met je cello, je kunt andere mensen doen bewegen, dus je kunt dansers doen bewegen. We hebben een heel mooi programma met het cello octet. En die Sonus Modus op dinsdagmiddag, die bewegen zelf echt buitengewoon mooi. Maar het is ook over de cello moves en dat was eigenlijk mijn eerste associatie van het ontroert, het beweeg je. Ik bedoel, en dat is eigenlijk datgene wat je zo vaak hoort van mensen als het over, god wat is cello eigenlijk mooi, het raakt me zo. Weet je, die, gewoon de klank van die cello. Does the sound of the cello fit well into the tradition of tango music? Yes, yes, it's a nice sound. It was not very much used for the traditional tango orchestras of the old times, but some of these orchestras in the late 50 they would start introducing the cello in the orchestras. By the time they introduced the strings, the tango was having less and less popularity, so it was difficult. Not all the orchestras could incorporate all the strings. So the ones that did was amazing, but it didn't develop any further. So that was the, the, the really challenge. So to hear it now is really special because it reminds of that period that mm -hmm. was growing and then yeah. it stayed there. Yeah. It adds a lot. I think it's a very nice and deep sound, yes. We won't see you dancing with your cello, will we? No, I won't be, I won't be dancing, no. It's very interesting that you mention the dancing though, you know why? Because that's something I mention basically in every single lesson with my students. Because I really think that music, it, it has to come not only from our mind, it cannot be just abstract. Music has to come also from your body. Look now, as I'm talking, I need, I need to move my body. I'm just not talking like this and you know. So for me, the dancing, it's always when we play our instrument. When the orchestra finished to play, it will be a DJ playing music also, so the dancers can stay dancing until 3 a.m. because <laughs> we like to dance until late. <laughs>